So for this question is focused on probability and statistics. So we'll be exploring two very salient concepts in this question that you should be looking out for when trying to solve in process in patterns, right? So let's look at the question. Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. So let's look at the question. Um, it comes in two parts. So the first part basically outlines what is a cumulative distribution function for the standard normal distribution. So what we have here is basically this big part which is nothing but the CDF of a uh, standard normal distribution. But we generally don't need to look at this because here we have we are given the values for the CDF at some specific values of A, right? And we also know that X is equal to mu plus sigma Z follows Gaussian distribution between mu and standard deviation Z sigma if Z is a standard normal variant. So the premise of this question is that there is an exam and the marks of that exam follows a standard uh, follows a normal distribution with mean mu and standard deviation sigma so we are told that a candidate fails if he or she obtains less than 35 percent marks and they pass with distinction if they get more than 80 percent marks so we are provided a table here where we are told that two percent of the students passed with distinction and 82 percent of the students passed without distinction so one of the common mistakes which people make here is that they don't see that is these uh, percentages so many people think that this is basically the number of students which is not the case so don't make a mistake so look at here and you'll understand that there are like two percent students so basically there are 84 percent students who have passed and 16% students were failed. Not two students were passed with distinction, 82 students were passed without distinction, and 141 students were failed. That is not right. So we know what has happened. So moving on to the first question, it is question number 70. We're asked to find out which of the following statements are true. So we have some claims about the values of both the mean mean and the standard deviation sigma. So we want to find out what these two values can be. And we can calculate that using some basic probability. So let capital X be the random variable denoting the marks of a randomly selected student. By the assumption, X follows a normal new sigma squared distribution. Now we know that the percentage of students who failed 16%, right? So the probability that the marks obtained is less than is equal to 35 is 0 0.16. Now why 35? So if we assume that the full marks is 100, then 35% of 100 is nothing but 35. So in reality, this, this kind of intended in the question to be taken as 35 itself, though not mentioned clearly, but we can kind of go ahead with it. So we can kind of say that, okay, the question was incomplete in some sense, but okay. So um x we know follows a normal new sigma squared standard uh, distribution so let's do some algebraic manipulation here let's subtract the mean first and then divide by the standard deviation so if x is a normal new sigma square variate then x minus mu by sigma is a standard normal variate so this is basically some z which is less than is equal to some a where z is standard normal so this is nothing but the CDF of Z, and this is the value at which we want to find the cumulative is, is basically the value of that function. So this is basically phi 35 minus mu by sigma, which is 0 0.16. From this little list of values, which will be referring continuously, we have that minus phi of minus minus 0 0.16. So let's come over here and make this basically phi of minus one. So basically these two are equal, right? So let's equate them. So 35 minus mu by sigma is minus one. From there, we get mu is equal to 35 plus sigma. So this is the first equation that we have. The first equation is basically a linear equation in two variables, mu and sigma. If we want to calculate the two values of mu and sigma, 
it is kind of intuitively clear that we need to have another equation that gives us that that has either both mu and sigma or any other any one of mu or sigma which will help us to calculate both values from something like a simultaneous linear equation to equations in two variables so where do we get this second equation from remember we have another statement where we have that you need to get more than 80% of the marks to become pass like to pass with distinction remember 2% of the students passed with distinction so let's use that so probability of x greater than 80 is 0.02 take its complement probability of x less than is equal to 80 is 0.98 do the same algebraic manipulation again and you'll get a phi of 80 minus mu by sigma is 0.98 from that little list of values again we have phi of 2 this is basically phi of 2 equate these two values and you have 80 is equal to mu plus 2 sigma this is our second equation so basically we have two equations two linear equations in two variables and we can solve them in any manner we want what i did was basically substituting mu from the first equation into the second equation and solving both we have mu is equal to 50 and sigma is equal to 15 so these are our answers and going back to the options you'll be able to see that the correct option is hence option d so the one key thing that we used to solve this problem was to note that we have some information that we can convert in mathematical terms to get an equation since we are basically asked to find the values of two variables it really helps if we can formulate two linear equation in these two variables which you can solve very easily so that's what we did to book a trial class for your preparation courses of iitjm ms isim stellan cmi ms etc science check out the first link in the description below if you're enjoying the video show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel we welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists stay tuned and stay blessed